Roofs. Make pitched roof. Okay, so we are going to be making a roof, pitched roof. So I'm going to add that here to our notes. Notes are getting a little unruly. So we're going to make a pitched roof and just like that. Okay, let's go to our live section view. And I want to spin this around. Now, we're going to do a couple little things to prepare this. There's actually a door, two doors in here. And I'm going to click on door and then go here to overhead sectional garage door one. And we're going to add that one in there. It's backwards, but we'll flip it. And then we're going to add in another door, 36 by 84 door, right about there. And then hit escape twice. Let's go to our main floor plan. So sheet, floor plans, main floor, either one main floor or main floor arch. I'm going to click on that garage door, hit the space bar, and that'll flip it. And this door is, we're going to actually just move it a little bit over that way. It's an exterior door, so that's all fine. Back to live section. I'm going to click on that door again. Hit the space bar. There we go. So now we've got our garage door in there. Now, why did we do this when we're supposed to be making a roof? Well, there's a reason why we're supposed to make a roof, because this is an entranceway, and they want to provide a little bit of rain cover because there'll be some loading that happens right here. And they decided that maybe they'll make it an architectural feature. So we're going to make a pitched roof that wraps right around. Let's go to our main floor plan to make this. So main floor. And then let's go to roof. We're going to click on roof by footprint. And we're going to just choose the, let's go wood rafter 8 inch for now. Base level main floor. Now, typically you will make a level for roofs, but in some cases like this one, we might not want to. So what I'm going to do is start with it at eight feet, and that'll be at the base of the roof, like at the bottom of the rafter, essentially. Okay, so eight feet. Good. Now we sketch. So we can draw a line, and we basically want to come from here. Obviously, that's the main reason right there. We're just using sketch mode just to sketch down like this and then sketch to there. Now, looks like that needs to come out a little farther. I'm going to drag it until it snaps onto the front of that right there. And we're going to pull it about that far. Okay, now we're going to do a bit of offsetting. So we'll go to line, yes, line. And I'm going to offset it by six feet. So as we draw, see where I'm clicking? Just clicking along that line and just want to pick to the end. You know, you draw along this line, but it's actually drawing the line up there six feet out. Now, if I take offset off, I can just finish that and then finish that. So, you know, this is a little bit of review because we did some roofs in the preliminary training or in the fundamentals video. But when you make a sketch mode, all the lines have to be meeting end to end like this. There can be no overlapping lines and no gaps. Okay, well, let's just accept that and see what that looks like. So I'm going to go to my finish edit mode. Very good. Go to the live section. And there it is. So you can see it's a little bit funny. We've got maybe a little bit of a snow problem or a water problem inside of there. So what we want to do is get rid of these slopes that are on the back. So I'm going to click on it right here in this view, edit footprint, and notice these little triangles. Those indicate that this will be sloping. So let's take that off. So we click, I'm going to use the control key, and I'm going to click just those internal ones for now, and then uncheck define slope. Green check mark. Okay, there we go. Now, you'll see these little arrows. I would avoid using those right now unless you're really sure about you know, how you want to edit the pitch because you see what's happening. If I do that, it kind of doesn't edit this pitch. So you can use them, but I think it's better just to click on the roof, go to Edit Footprint, and then you can either click on each one of the slopes or you can just edit all the slopes using this. I'm going to go at a pretty shallow 10 degrees and apply that and then click on the green check mark. 
Now, if that's too shallow, I could just go here to the slope and say, well, let's try what 15 degrees would look like. Okay, maybe that's a little better. And it does all of the slopes at once. Maybe we want to get rid of this too. It kind of doubles back there. Let's edit the footprint. And again, we're removing this check mark from those. We're not setting the slope to zero or 90 or anything. We're removing to find slope and then finish. Okay, so this is coming. I think we should maybe pop it up a little higher. So right now it's at eight feet. Let's maybe say nine feet. Okay, so there it is. That's a good start. And we're going to improve upon this as we go. So we'll save what we've done. Save as. And close. And this concludes this video.